As time moves forward, more and more people are compromising in one way or another. One of the most deceitful compromises is the ecumenical movement. This is so subtle because it comes across loving and being non-judgmental, but it's a slow but sure way to deceive people who accept it. Once again, Hillsong is having a Catholic priest speak at their conference, and this isn't the first time they've done this. This is for the Alpha Conference 2022, and we can see below who some of the speakers are, and one of them is Father John Ricardo. We'll talk about the Alpha Course in a moment because I was one of the leaders in the Alpha Course in my church in Edmonton. But compromising and calling Catholicism just another Christian denomination is no more true than saying Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses are a denomination of Christianity. They are cults and believe in a different Jesus. Catholicism has so many false and unbiblical beliefs and practices, it's not even funny. You can research that yourself or you can learn a bit more about these beliefs in the Catholic and Catholicism playlist on Revealing Truth. This ecumenical movement has the Pope promoting that basically all religions serve the same God but have different names for him. And this is obviously false. So by having a priest speak at Alpha, we are opened up just a bit more to accepting Catholicism and it allows the Pope's ecumenical deception to creep into the Christian churches. This is yet one more reason people should avoid Hillsong. Unity is good among true Christian churches, but there is a line. This is why Jesus said in Luke that he came not to bring peace, but a sword to divide. And this is why we have so many warnings against false teachers in the Bible. We'll finish off here with the video that was done on the Alpha Course if you haven't seen that yet. If you don't know what the Alpha Course is, it's an 11 week course that teaches the very basic elements of Christianity. Alpha began at a church called Holy Trinity Brompton in London in 1977 and was taken by Nicky Gumbel in 1990 and repositioned as a course for those outside the church. As of 2018, this course is in 100 countries in over 100 languages and more than 24 million people have taken it. While it's shown to have 15 sessions, there's actually 16 videos. It offers talks on many of the basic questions in life and Christianity. Things like, is there more to life than this? Who is Jesus? Why did Jesus die? The Bible. Who is the Holy Spirit? And many other common questions. First, I want to talk about the good things in Alpha. When I lived in Canada, we had this course in our church. In 2008, if I remember correctly, it was very welcoming and we had those in the church attending as well as outsiders that were also curious. I was a worship leader and we would start each night off with one worship song that some would sing and others would not. It was a very comfortable atmosphere where we'd start off having a nice meal together and then we'd all be in small groups and one person would lead the discussions after watching the video. I was also a table leader for this. The course was very soft and non-confrontational and allowed people to ask questions and have a chance to share opinions and learn about the basics without having somebody really force a point. I found a way to work in sharing the full gospel message using the approach from Way of the Master because while the course did teach the basic elements of the Christian faith, it didn't focus on the seriousness of sin and didn't seek to teach about the person, character, or attributes of God. Nor does it focus on solid doctrine because that could cause division at the tables. So it was a very kid's glove approach to present a degree of truth without offending anyone. The course ends with an alpha getaway weekend and ours was in a mountain resort. By this time we all had a great fellowship and enjoyed food together, learning about Jesus, and some came to Christ by the end of this. I remember praying with a Filipino couple that God brought to tears in their repentance and being saved. So my experience with the Alpha program was very good, and if it was always like the experience I had, then I would say that with the proper discernment, it would be a good tool to share the gospel. But over the years, I've learned a lot more about things behind this course that many may not be aware of. We had the 15 sessions in our church, but there is a 16th one. 
I don't know if this is new or perhaps just isn't promoted in some churches. The 16th video is called, What About the Church? And this is where Nikki Gumbel is pushing the ecumenical movement and unity with the Catholic Church. He says that he loves the Catholic Church and has been enriched by it. He also talks about unity and that we are all part of the body of Christ. Has priests and cardinals speaking about this unity and even the Pope saying that God doesn't care about the denomination and that we're all Christians. Well, he's right, God doesn't care about Christian denominations, but Catholicism is not Christian. We've discussed the many reasons why these two faiths are not compatible and why this is so dangerous. Even this gal from Lizzie's Answers on YouTube makes the distinction that Christian and Catholic are different. When we see the prominent Catholic figures promoted on the Alpha site, we have to be wise about this. They are very clear on their site that it's about unification with the Catholic Church. And when other Christian ecumenical supporters like Rick Warren are endorsing this, it's yet another red flag. Not to mention Joyce Meyer and Tim Keller who was also exposed because of his false social gospel. So despite the good experience I had with the Alpha Course, seeing that Nikki Gumbel is so connected with the Pope and really encouraging this unity is a good reason we should not welcome this course into our church. We are seeing too many people like Rick Warren, Kenneth Copeland, John Arnott, Chris Vallotton, and Todd White all getting far too cozy with the Pope and the Catholic Church. Yes, we should pray for them, but unity with them is not biblical. This is perhaps the biggest deception we are seeing today and the whole coexist movement. These are my thoughts on the Alpha Course, and as always, leave your thoughts and comments below as well. And until next time, take care and God bless.